All right, folks, the deck is Mechathune Druid. The goal of the deck is to get the Celestial Alignment, which makes all of our cards cost one mana, draw through our deck with the help of Master Oakheart into Lady Anacondra so that we can play our overflows on the cheap, emptying our deck, getting ourselves to the Mechathune plus Poison Seeds combo, which with an empty hand in deck wins us the game. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Rawful. Watch this! Like, I think you can create quest hate without, like, deleting an entire opponent's deck. Like, that's worse than Skulking Geist into Jade Druid. Uh, alignment into Quest Warlock is, uh, pretty good. So we're giving them mana now, but then we're going to take it all away with the alignment. What about cards that have the line if they control a quest? Yeah, like, or even resetting some progress of a quest or, like, denying progress for upcoming turns on the quest. Like, just outright destroying the quest is just super toxic and shouldn't be a thing. All right, alignment next turn. Well, this is kind of a problem with the alignment, isn't it? What about reset the quest to phase one? Uh, that would only work for, like, quest lines, right? And the problem with that is that you do get some, like, incremental progress for the early stages of it. So it's like, is it that bad? Quest Royal are still playing Dark Lair. Uh, many of them, not necessarily this version. I want this to be the only spell that I play. This either outcome is pretty good for me here. Draw. Draw would have been better. Like, I don't really care about these uh, one attack minions hitting me in the face, you know? And I think the Mana Saber is a lot less important now. Uh, I feel like this is bait without... Like, I can't do anything with the Anaconda. I don't have card draw. The wild. I got a hold here. You need Anaconda to combo? I know, but like if I just leave Anaconda on the board, she dies. So, like, I can't. As much as I want to thin out my deck, uh, I need to wait until I hit like an overflow. Uh, that might actually work. Um, just hope I don't draw the Anaconda herself here. Easy.
And we've got a full board for next game. Overgrowth might just be a keep with this hand. I get to or, or overflow. I get the um, the overflow early because of the overgrowth. My greetings. My greetings. Well, now I kind of have too many overflows. Wait, what? What was the purpose of that? For the wild. Oh, they might be Megathune. Yeah. No Megathune. So they, I think what they're trying to do there is um, like pitch away the Megathune with the Secret Passage because I think it's still bugged. I do not care. Uh, I'm gonna play this just to get the Vargoth out of my deck and gain some armor. Armor doesn't matter, but like the single card draw actually is pretty useful. Does it still work that way? Um, oh, I guess maybe I was wrong. Wasn't it fixed? I don't know. I haven't read the patch notes because uh, because I don't know how to read. It was fixed. Okay. Well. If that many people are telling me that it's fixed, I guess I'll trust Twitch chat over myself. Job done. Crack Hat, thank you for the four months with Prime. Appreciate that. I guess I'm confused now why they use the Illusionist after the Counterfeit Blade. Did they top deck the Illusionist? I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I need to get a few of these cards out of hand first, I think, so probably just go here and pretend like I actually summon this. Fantastic. Probably just Big Rogue at this point is the read that I have. Did they speed that second half of the animation up a little bit? I don't remember all the cards just kind of like leaving at once. Uh, thank you. That was dangerous. I thought for, like, look at how many low cost cards I have. I thought for sure <laughs> I was going to be safe there. Uh, I could reveal this to get the uh, branching pass out, but that's bad for a couple of reasons. First of all, it gives them something to trade into. Second of all, this is here so that it can happen after the uh, um, celestial alignment. So, speaking of, I would very much like to draw a celestial alignment. No, maybe next turn. No alignment, yeah. Master Oakard's looking pretty pretty bad right now, too. Now that said, I can kill these two at least. Wait, I still have the Mechathune in my deck. If they get Death Grip, it's a 50-50. Well. Uh... Range of animations are brutal. Yeah, 
keep, keep, keep. Look for ramp. Not a great draw. Hey, bio. Just want to get to this as uh, quickly as possible. So I have four additional mana to gain, which means I can play it on turn three. Which just so happens to be next turn. I don't have much to do in the coming turns, but like this does severely slow down the opponent, right? Did something happened to the stream. Uh, yes, it continued on as normal without any hiccups or frame drops. I see. I mean, that is not relevant timing for the uh, the Lotha because I was already overloaded. So, congrats. Nice deck, and you have the courage to play with that in this actual meta. I like it. I mean, the deck is incredible in this meta game, which is why I'm playing it <laughs> to climb. Like it farms Warlock. Am I crazy just to go in here? Probably, but I'm going to do it anyway. Wow, I got bailed out. Uh, and then I didn't. I'm going to close with an alignment to limit their options here. I think it's still okay. It was a pretty brutal turn. I know, I didn't draw very well at the end. I think I was too hasty. Like, I don't know that there's much uh, downside to just waiting. Still need a lot of card draw. Venom. But at the same time, like, we've kind of locked the opponent out right now, so... And we've played both alignments, which typically require... Like, playing the second alignment requires that you keep the Anaconda on board, because we've played both already. Like, we're less forced into that situation. No tempo Megathune. I mean, realistically, we could have, but there is a rather large failure rate associated with that that I don't really feel like I want to take the risk on because these decks do run plague sometimes. Like, I'm just short. Most of my deck at this point is card draw or ramp. I just need to hit one of the pieces of card draw and it's easy. I think at a certain point, board space may actually end up being a problem, though. But also, if I just draw an oak, uh, branching paths, I think I win with damage on board. Or not. Uh, 19. Dreadful error. So, and we have 8. Plus uh, 8 is 16. Lethal? Only if you don't know how to do math. Maybe next turn. Not sure why I revealed the uh, the panther there, but I did. Janae, thank you for the hundred bits. Draw? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> gotta clear this board. A little agony goes a long way. Hmm. 
Hmm. Opponent tempoed the Mechathune for us. I think we have lethal this time, chat. But this is a Mechathune combo. Oh, can summons kind of counts as card draw? Okay. Overgrowth definitely isn't card draw, but it's good. All right. <laughs> Mechathune speed run, any percent? Goth? Unlucky. Alright, I've got like two turns to draw meaningful card draw. That seems like meaningful card draw to me. That said, we don't actually have the combo yet, so I might hold back with the Panther unless I hit like Anaconda off the top or Master Card off the top. Even maybe Nourish off the top. Well, we can't deny the Tavish, but we can limit its effectiveness. Maligos? Maligos is good, but not this turn. But I think that should pretty much guarantee that I get it next turn, right? Is there a bad outcome here? Maybe Mechathune? Just had to go and say something. That was rough. Possible I'd lose. I lose. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I don't... Like, I had to play the Oaken Summons there to get more cards. I don't... Bummer. But we still have a way to win. Cool. 
also could have traded rabbit into the bomb. Uh, the point of that was to make board space. I wanted the rabbit to die. Because at the time I thought I was comboing that turn. I didn't think that there was going to be a follow-up turn, but I kind of whiffed on my draws after that. <laughs> Look who it is. Let's, uh... Let's kill these. BM? Imagine not using the bunny there. I don't know how I feel about just like giving away free mana to a hunter, but I'm going for it. Okay. Well, we'll take it right back. All right. Hey, Swag. What are you doing today? Uh, they're not odd, so that should give me some time. Even if it is quest line. They're also not even, which should give me some time. Cool. Being a good boy and spreading positive vibes. I'm doing the same thing, but I'm spreading in positive plagues. Which... I don't know if that's actually a possibility to do. Hey, Fiery. Wanna forgot Baku? I mean... That has happened to us recently, but we don't know for sure yet. Like, you just run on the hunt, especially with the buzzard version. You run that, like... You just run one mana spells in this deck, regardless of whether or not it's odd. Rapid Fire does get them some serious progress. Finally, Raffle added some emotes. Uh, no, you can thank Swag for that. Who is here, so you can... Uh... Actually, directly thank him. Say goodbye to that mana. You play Mercenaries when it comes out? Uh, probably, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to play it on stream. It doesn't seem like the best stream game, but we shall see. I don't think we know a whole lot about it just yet. I don't want to play this out because um, probably snipe or explosive, but it could be pressure plate. Maybe I just take that risk. I'm thinking it's explosive. Weird. Is dart trap 100%? Fortunately, I don't have the mana for uh, hero powering at the moment. Has 100% to test for uh, pressure plate, by the way. I'm super concerned about that. I don't know if I should be. But I do also just need to draw some cards. Rat trap 100%. I don't know. It's looking more... I, I think it's just explosive. This is just like a fairly aggressive uh, build of the deck, it seems. With some overlap with maybe like a face hunter. What? <laughs> Not expecting a an explosive sheep here. Okay, so that's kind of a problem because I can't attack with that for a bit. Anaconda. All right, let's see if we can get nourish or that's not it. Oh my god, where's my card draw? Like my. Big hard draw. This gets an attack here. Not sure I can do anything about it. <laughs> well, I mean, the uh, mana saber wasn't going to be very useful after they did the sheep anyway, so. Like, I just need a nourish or a. Um... 
Not a spreading plague. Good god. I'm just gonna play it to get it out of hand. Um, and, like, if I get too wide of a spreading plague in the future, I might, like, create a situation where I'm board locked anyway, so. It wasn't Dart Trap, yeah. Deep. I'll take just a crumb of card draw here, please. For the wild. Uh, yeah, I did turn followers only off, but then they took that as a, a reason to come back. Card draw? I mean, that kind of works, right? I don't want to attack face because it's almost certainly explosive at this point. I mean, it got two cards out of my deck, which I'm happy to have. Okay. Um... Avish is coming down, but I have the, uh, rabbit. And then they're out of resources. It might be useful to clean the deck after Celestial or two situation. Well, I mean, it could make you lose the game. Like, in this situation, I would... Still just lose the game, you know? Both overflows bottom 10. The point of this deck is that it's supposed to be fast. I... <laughs> and it doesn't seem to be the case right now. Both nourishes as well, yeah. Like, nourish is one of the most important cards after the... Um, after the alignment. And Mally. Yeah, all of my, like... Big card draw is uh, gone. Can we can we get something, please? Okay, I should guarantee it now. None can stand the floor. Oh my god. Unfortunately, you know. Oh my god, I botched it. No, I didn't. I'm out of cards. I almost did, though. It took a lot longer than it needed to. Turn two kill? Yeah, we did it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be right back. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, John Rusi, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Corbeck, Noggleshire, St. Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Fanfix.